Oh, it's pretty simple. You have the unit, the quick connect, you have a ball, which is a weight. I was going that to you. They have a 1.1 millimeter orifice. They have a couple of filters. And I have no idea what that is. They have a can. That's dirty. Kind of like um, the MGJC Pro. It's kind of like those. It's pretty, pretty hard. But you can tell it's pretty sturdy. Spray nozzle. Focus on cat car care. See the cold foam can in. Cautions. There's a caution how to use it. It tells you here 900 ml of water followed by 100 ml of car wash shampoo. That's kind of standard um, based on just, you know, just standardized. How you want to do it, do it based on what your the car soap manufacturer has recommended. Technical data, the pro model, we have the pro model. So max flow, 5.6 GPM. The thread on this guy, I'll explain it to you. Thread. It's M22 by 15. Oh, hey! That's the stuff that's in my, um, how to use. That's the stuff that's in my, um, pressure washer. Comment. Alrighty. So what do we have here? Whoa, they, this is pretty good machining work. The threading's really nice. Ow. This part, the twist. There's no click like you would see in the um, MTM, but there's no there's no free wobble. So there's it seems like they have an O-ring gasket in there somewhere to hold it in place. But it's got a nice firm movement, just like um, the MTM. But this, the, unlike the MTM, there's no click interval that tells you. So you have infinite. You can like turn it here and turn it there. It's infinite. Machining. How they did this part. This is a plastic piece. It's technically pressed on. You can tell it's pressed on. I don't know if you can see it in camera view. It's pressed on around the corners. They have a... I really like this. It's a vent valve. It's a, well, you kind of want to call it a vent valve, check valve, however you like. Um, this part, well, when you get it brand new, it's really stiff. There you go. It's not loose. Oh, hey. It's the same quality you see in the MTM. The inside of fan, not fan blades. Fan blades are a little on the softer side. It's not perfectly flush, but it's pretty. It's not perfectly flush, like with each other. But it's okay. It's acceptable to me. So this is pretty nice. I like how you can move this around. Pretty smooth. All right. So that's how it works. Let's see what else you have here. This model itself, I have no idea what this foam is. I gotta see what that little foam is. So they give you two type of foams. One is a one is a coarse and one is a like really really fine foam, foaming applicator. Oh, I know what this is now. Oh snap! Let's see. This is better. One point one millimeter orifice. I will not be using this. This works silicone got a lot of give to it so it's really nice how this works is um this is technically not a filter guys the filter is in here the filter is in here not here this is only a weight and it holds it down so it doesn't matter whichever way you hold it it'll always point at the bottom try to it's best to point at the bottom so um so it'll draw the fluid because fluid always sits at the bottom. And last of all, this is actually a really nice feature. This is really nice. So all you do need to do is, you know, instead of the other ones where you have to you know, take a wrench and unscrew it, this is a M22 by 15. It just goes in here like this, just twist on. Really nice feature. I like this. Makes it easy as hell. And um, this is the same concept they use in a pressure washer. Because pressure washer uses the same concept and to get it off it just comes off like that and you don't need to tight, tight, tighten that all the way because they have an o-ring here they have an o-ring and that'll that'll keep it sealed 
and I am considering the check valves they have here you're not gonna have any leaks and it just goes in like so like that perfect we'll get to something later